So you know how I've really enjoyed the cadence side of the training that I've been doing on Wahoo system. Tonight's training plan is called cadence builds. I've read the bottom part. It basically says that you start at 90 RPM and over the course of 30 seconds, you build up to your max and then you recover and go again several times. So more cadence stuff. It is Tuesday. I was supposed to do this last night, but it's been really, really warm here. And I know the guys in Oz laugh at me when I say this is warm, but it's been just probably around 30, 31 degrees. And I was tired yesterday. I just didn't feel like doing it. I don't necessarily feel any different tonight, but I've got to get it done. Otherwise, I'm just pushing it down the road and not getting the benefit from it. Plus, it is Tuesday trundle time. So I'm going to try and do the cadence workout before and then join the trundle. There might be a slight overlap in there as well. But uh, what I'll, as I normally do is I'll talk over the workout and let you know how it goes afterwards because I quite enjoy having the music turned up so that I can hear everything that's going on. So, yeah, I'm going to go and do that. Let's see how it goes. So I said before that I wanted to listen to the workout music, but this one doesn't actually have any, as it says on the screen at the moment. So I had to put my own on. Nice little start to this workout, six minutes, five to six minutes, and you're basically in the peloton. Most of this workout is at a 90 cadence, and we're starting off at 121 watts. Nice and easy, and I think the hardest it goes to is about 181, as you see on screen at the moment. That's then when you hit the cadence, those little bumps are the cadence workouts. You start off at 90 and build up rather quickly through 100, then you go up to 110, that steps up quickly, as you can see, to 115, to 120, all the way up to 130. And I really struggled on the first one. I didn't have a thought, a feeling for how fast those cadences were. And I was just trying to go as fast as I could rather than gradually ramping it up over the 30 uh, seconds of the increase. And you hold on to the 130 at the end for, I think it's about 12 to 15 seconds before dropping back down again. The second time I did it, I was a lot more controlled is a slight delay, I think, in the recording of my cadence and watts to what actually happens on the screen. But I do gradually bring it up to the 130 roughly, which isn't easy for me, actually, that sort of fast pedaling uh, and then dropping it back down. After you finish one of those sections, you drop down to 90 again at a nice 121 watts. And that then steps up a little bit more for to 145 just to sort of, for uh, I think it's three or four minutes to see the end of that section, I'm going around the Abu Dhabi racetrack here. Uh, and then at the end, a nice little warm down of 121 watts, again at 90 cadence. So to be honest, the workout wasn't necessarily as bad as I thought it would be. So as I said there, that wasn't as bad as I expected to be. Comparing that to the other cadence stuff that I've done in the other workouts, and I've not it's not that I haven't enjoyed them. It's been slightly more difficult. The lower cadence work and the high cadence work. This one was very different because it was 90 cadence all the way along. And then just those 45 seconds to a minute bursts of, of ramping up to 130, which were okay. So it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I didn't really necessarily read it properly before because it only had a training, uh, training stress score of 20. So not too bad. And yeah, I, I got it done. Another workout ticked off, which is good. I jumped on to the Tuesday trundle a little bit late. I did about 40 minutes, I think, in total. But then also afterwards, Chris said that he was going to jump across and do the epic KOM in Watopia, uh, the reverse one, and go up to the radio tower. I joined them, uh, Chris and a few others, going up the reverse KOM. I didn't go up to the radio tower because they'd shot off and done it before I'd even got there. But I did enjoy the ride back down the other side. I've never been up that way which is weird. Uh, of all my time on Zwift, I've never been up that hill in the reverse direction. And it really kind of showed me where improvements in the last couple of weeks or months or however long it has been, because I've I managed to hold pretty solid power. I felt quite strong. I could push when I got to the top. So yeah, I think I'm starting to see those benefits of the workouts. Uh, as I go along. My next workout is supposed to be on Thursday. That is the same day that we are doing the T2.5 Alp de Zwift race. Um, and it doesn't look pretty. It's going to be the most difficult one so far of all the workouts that I've done. So if you're looking forward to or interested in seeing that, keep an eye out for the next video. I also did another workout as part of the Bandy group ride on Saturday morning. And this one I set up a little dual screen. So I had Wahoo system up 
and I had Zwift up at the same time. System was driving my trainer, it was a controller, trying to keep the erg mode for the workout and then obviously still reporting watts to Zwift so that I can move in Zwift as well. It was really good, it was a recovery workout so nothing too strenuous at all. The problem that I had is that it was a video uh, which might have been quite nice to watch. It was something about someone in snow and I really didn't see it because I was chatting to people on Discord. So had I realised that I might have done them at two separate times, but uh, it was good to get another workout done as well. So pretty much sticking to them as we go. Going to be honest, I've fallen slightly behind with the sort of mindset workouts. Just fitting them in in the last couple of weeks has been difficult, but I've kept the cycling ones going, which is which is the main goal for me. Um, let's talk about getting back on track with things. So as of Monday, yesterday, I'm back on my keto diet. I'm hoping I don't feel any adverse effects whilst going transitioning back into keto. I haven't weighed myself at all. That will be a surprise on Thursday, ready for the weigh-in. Uh, I'll let you guys know in the next video as well how that goes. But I've got a few weeks now of getting into keto, get, getting as much weight off in that period of time I can as I can before my brother's wedding. So back onto the keto, back onto the good eating, carrying on with the riding. It's going pretty well in that sense, so I'm pretty happy. Um, if you want to join the T2.5 rise this week, all the information is in the description below. We have a new channel member, Ben Bishop. Thank you so much for signing up on channel, uh, Buy Me A Coffee. It really does mean a lot. If it's something anyone else is interested in, the link is in the description below as well. But that is the end of this video. If you have enjoyed it, do hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.